enjoy. <laughs> so when did you do this? I actually started this before I went on the show. And um, coming off of the show, I actually finished it a few months uh, in the few months following it. So it's, I'd say all, all in all about 80 hours worth of work went into it. And it was over the span of about five months. Was it a, 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 something that had to be do, was that a piece for the show? Mm. Like was it a challenge to do a, a painting or no? It wasn't really a challenge at all. Um, for, for me, I get inspired by some of the most random things, but mainly mythology. I love mythology. I love the stories and tales of like the gods and goddesses in every single culture. Norse and Greek are my two favorites, but I mean Egyptian, Chinese, Japanese, like all across the like we're all across the board. I love, I love mythology. So one of the tales that I felt most strongly connected to is the tale of Medusa. She was actually a priestess in Athena's temple. And uh, she was one of the most beautiful people in the land. She was a princess, but she was dedicated to being chaste and, and a virgin. And she was working, like basically she worked in Athena's temple as a priestess. So these rampaging barbarians burst into Athena's temple and, and raped this poor princess. But instead of being upset at the rampaging barbarians, Athena turned her into this snake monster and cursed her so that every time a man would look at her, he would turn into stone. So she was really upset and fled and she hid and basically was miserable for the rest of her immortal life until Perseus killed her. And what I wanted to do is take that story and flip it on its head and basically empower this woman. So yeah, she's a Gorgon. She's the scary snake woman, but she's still gorgeous and she's powerful now. She has this magical power to turn people to stone. How is she going to use it? And uh, to punish the wicked, possibly. And uh, that's kind of where I wanted to go with this. And uh, I couldn't find anybody to model for me, so I kind of used my own face <laughs> and, um, and laid it out in a way to make it seem more uh, what I had in my head. Nobody could model the way, what I, I actually saw. So I, I actually took a, a picture on my webcam which is very grainy and very bad quality. A lot of the pictures, a lot of the, the paintings that I do are from very poor quality pictures because I want to focus on the painting. And if the picture is already really beautiful, then there's not too much that you can do to make it more. But if you have a basic idea and push it forward, then you have more of an artistic inspiration coming from your, the actual artist's mind. Excellent. That's pretty cool. Yeah.